Hi, you guys. Welcome. Let's see what messages come through for spirit from spirits today for the collective. This is going to be a collective reading, you guys. It doesn't matter what sign you are if you've clicked on this video. Um, I'm going to be picking up on your energy. Not all the messages will resonate with you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's see what shows up for you guys in your tarot. These collective readings, they can be very specific and almost feel like a personal reading. Spirits, what do the viewers of this video, video need to know? The first card you have is Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. And then you have the Five of Swords. The Hanged Man. This is Pisces energy. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, the Four of Swords is in the center of your reading. You have the Devil, Capricorn, Energy. And then you have the Nine of Wands. The Seven of Wands. And the Six of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Wands. And you have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Seeing someone show up in your energy, I'm not sure who this is yet, but we're going to go through the cards and clarify them. Why is temperance here? Okay, so you have strength, Leo energy, and you have the ace of cups. And the Two of Swords. There's a, there's a certain situation here in your life where I feel like you're... You feel like you don't want to look at it, all right? It's difficult. It's complicated with strength showing up. And so you're just going with the flow. The Ace of Cups is here and strength is here too. This is Leo energy. Something here about love is very very difficult and you're holding on you're you're doing whatever it takes to make this work with temperance showing up here and you're not really sure how long you can continue to do this i feel like but you don't want to look at the problem you don't want to you're not grabbing a sword ready to cut it off it creates too much conflict but the next card you have is you're picking up the sword. Tell me why the five of swords is here. I feel like you're going to need to pick up the sword even though you don't want to. You have the two of cups. See, look at there you are showing up as the queen of swords regardless of what gender you are. There's someone here with you in your energy, and there's love here. I keep seeing the love that is here, but I see you holding up the sword, and the sword is sharp. You can even see the, the, um, like the light shining off of it. And it just, it feels to me like there's 
you're avoiding a fight, you're avoiding an argument with someone. It's like you're you're prepared to cut to cut this person off if you need to. I I see you. It's like you love someone here, but you're not letting yourself get completely trusting of this situation. Tell me why the hanged man is here. In some way you are you're creating this self-sacrificing energy. You're sacrificing yourself for this commitment. This is Taurus energy, the Hierophant. There's a commitment here that you have with this person. A marriage. And there you have the King of Swords. So this King of Swords is holding the sword down to the ground. And this King of Swords is working in in building something but it's only at a three it hasn't gotten very far and this person they have a sharp sword too and so you may be not wanting to engage in an argument with this person because you're you're looking at the bigger picture with the hanged man and you're kind of like okay I'm I'm just gonna ride this out for a little while <coughs> it's like there's not really a plan there's not really a plan established you just want to be happy okay you're tired you just want to be happy but there's someone here in your energy that is giving off this devilish vibe like someone toxic tell me why the nine of cups is here The Two of Pentacles. And the Star Aquarius Energy. I'm kind of, you know, you have hope that this will work out. You want this to work out. And you're kind of putting something here in the back burner and your face is facing this one pentacle with the rainbow flying off of it and there's hope it, you know you see the hope that this can work and in the meantime you're sitting in the energy of the nine of cups like i just want to be happy right now i don't want to fight i don't want to argue um i just want to be happy but it does feel a bit vulnerable here. Tell me why the Four of Swords is here. And here it's like you're at rest. But your hand is right above this sword here. So you're ready to grab that sword. It's like you're on edge. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is showing up. I feel like you've done this before. And then you have the Knight of Wands. This person is consistently doing something that irritates you. And it doesn't matter how many times or how many arguments you've been in with this person. They're still going to do what they're doing here. And it's, con it's consistent. The Knight of Wands is not, is inconsistent, but whatever this person is doing wrong, screwing up, they're very consistent that they're going to do it. And it causes you pain in some way. It causes this mistrust and not being able to fully relax. So let's see who this is. Why is the devil here? Ten of Swords.
the de the devil energy is holding on i mean it's like there's this this energy of fear fear to walk away there's love there's definitely love here. Here we have the Queen of Cups looking at the Ten of Cups. Like everything's perfect. Everything's great. But there's something there's something toxic that sits in this energy. Something very, very painful. You guys, and it, it causes you it's like you feel like you have to stay. You feel like you can't speak your mind. It's not worth it to speak your mind in this situation. It's a fight you can't win. And I want to find out why this this hurts. It's like this hurts. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is here. There's another situation outside of this person where you feel like it's ending very painfully. And this is a fa someone that you would consider a family member. I'm seeing like the energy of a woman also here. Someone that you have roots with. Someone that's been in your life for years. It's almost like you're being pushed in the direction of this connection. And don't get me wrong, it feels good. The energy feels good. But there's someone else here that, that you worry about. But the energy around you, it's like everything is pushing you away from this energy that you've been familiar with. That's that you trust, that you love, that has been in your life for years. But there's something about this energy of this person that's been in your life for years that um, it hurts. It's very painful. This person is doing something that you don't have any control over. But I feel like there's codependency here, so... There's no way you're going to completely walk away from this energy. Tell me you're not you're going to fight for this. You have walls put up to protect yourself. But you're not giving up on them. Tell me why the 9 of wands is here. The magician Aries energy with the fool and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, you're you're fighting for this. I see a family member here, you guys. We have the ten of pentacles. And someone who engages in very risky behavior, I feel like. And it's like as if you try to create some type of an illusion to make them to make them look good or to to cover for them I want to know more about this person tell me why the six of cups is here tell me more about this person yeah it's a page like a child maybe Someone here with really good intentions, but their intentions are very, very, um, very childish. This, this person, they're actually, um... And you may not use the like the words I use here, but I'll use the words. It's like they're not playing with a full deck or they are 
a couple crayon, sort of a crayon box, something here. It's like this person has the best of intentions, but they don't really get it. They're doing something here, and it's like as if you have to cover for this person to protect them. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. Ten, yeah, see, there's something inside of the doorway. And I don't know if this is a literal doorway, but there's something here that you guard people from going into the doorway, from seeing what's be, what's on the other side. You don't want outsiders, people to see what's on the other side of the door because what's on the other side of the door is this. It's so heavy you can't even hardly carry the weight, the burdens. And there's people in the distance watching though. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. I feel like you don't know where the destination is. Like, where am I going to put... Where can I... You've picked up all of these burdens with this person over time. And it's like, where, where and when can I ever set these burdens down? When will they stop doing this to me? It's almost like a naive energy that is doing this to you. But this is out of 10, all right? So you're looking for a place to um, finally, you're going from the Wounded Warrior into the Ten of Wands where I just need to find a place to let it go to drop it off now. I picked up another wand. I can hardly walk. <coughs> and I see movement right here. Why is the Six of Swords here? You have the Sun, Leo energy, and you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the High Priestess Pisces energy. See, I'm seeing you trying to make a couple people happy. You have the Two of Wands and you have Three Cups. You're standing stuck at the crossroads wondering, you know, which way to go, where to drop off the burdens. And there's other people here where you're filling their cups. People that you love. But yet, at the same time, it's like, which which way do I go? Your intuition, I think I told you guys this is Pisces energy. Your intuition is telling you to go, get out of here, go. Except for... The Eight of Swords is here. It's like, how? How can I go? I can't just go. You can't just go because you're carrying around all of these responsibilities. And you can't, can't possibly let anyone see the energy that is behind the door. And so you feel stuck here. Um, there's something spiritual that's happening in your energy though. This is, this is the sun. This is the divine. This is, to me it is, all right? This is the light. Your intuition and the divine is trying to speak to you through your intuition intuitions you're picking up messages you're picking up a certain specific message that is telling you to do this go this way do this do this one thing and it it will fix the situation it will take care of it because you you're not the one who's going to abandon anyone here I can see that, but there's something here where you need to make a choice. You need to make a decision, and you're kind of um, 
putting it off maybe because you're doing this carrying all of this around but the manifestation is here to let go and then you will have everything that you want the ten of pentacles is here you're manifesting this you're going to have to take some type of risk and you're going to have to set it down that's what spirits are telling me. You're going to have to set this down. Um, you cannot continue to carry this up this mountain. You're not going to reach the top. You're going to have to set it down. And you're going to have to pull out. This energy here of the magician. Do you see how your, your hands are free here? You're not holding on tightly to anything. You're free here in the energy of the fool. You've let go. And here it's like you are you're um you have the wands, the pentacles, the swords, the cups. You're you're making moves here. This is a blend, a blending everything together, but it requires you to let go. It requires you to set this down, to stop where you're at and set this down and say, no, I'm not going to do this for right now. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to carry this anymore right now. I have some place I need to go. And that's, that's you going right there with the six of swords and you run your... You run into the high priestess and the sun. Using your intuition and protecting yourself is going to get you out of this situation. And um, let's clarify the last two cards of the overall energy of this reading. Something that you may not be seeing. Clearly, because you have the blindfolds on, you don't want to look at it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to face it, at least not right now. You're not making a decision to face the conflict, the fight. This is out of love. It's an emotional choice you're making here. Something's going to be revealed to you with the sun and the high priestess energy. And it's showing up in the near future. Yeah. You're going to have an epiphany moment, a realization. You're going to see something, some type of progress, something happening here in your energy. And it gives you the motivation to move in the direction that you need to move in. Okay? It gives you the, the motivation to drop half of the wands of the Ten of Wands and to come into the Five of Wands and face the conflict. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here. So even though the energy is telling you to let it all go, set it all down. When I see you getting motivated here. The Six of Wands is here. When you drop half of it and you let it you let it go, you let it set. And you're only you've got the conflict here with the Five of Wands, you're dealing with half the battle and half of a you're letting go. You will have victory, success, cross over the finish line. There's going to be something here that happens that motivates you and drives you forward. Tell me why the lovers are here. It 
You have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. And you have the Seven of Cups. You got... Two great loves, and I'm not going to say they're romantic loves, but there's two great loves that are of interest that you're thinking about as I'm doing this reading. I think I told you guys the lovers is Gemini, but um, there's someone here who's very controlling. They don't go with the flow. This person wants things their way. Um, they're very demanding. And then you have this other person over here. And this person's energy is they are a daydreamer. Um, they, you know, they, they will go with the flow and in the direction that, you know, they, that you ask of them to a certain point. Tell me why the emperor is here. But you have someone here that's very stubborn. It's like, this is temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's like you do things to keep the peace with this person. They're not worth arguing with. You appease them. Tell me why the Seven of Cups is here. And then you got this other person. And I I, I feel like this is so, uh, like a marriage. Okay, you have the Three of Pentacles here. But this person doesn't move very fast. They're not getting very far. They're kind of... Um, in La La Land. That one's a soulmate. You feel the soul connection with that one. There's a marriage, I believe, over there. This other lover, you just don't know what to do with them. They're very controlling. And it's like you just try to appease this person. You just try to keep the peace. But it, it's getting very difficult on you. So spirits are telling you here on the bottom of the deck. It's time to quit worrying. And to make a decision, a judgment call here. Because um, you're standing here. It's like you're ready. You're all suited up. You're ready to to move in the action of a knight but this knight isn't moving it's time for you to drop the burdens that you're carrying on your back so that you can make the judgment call the decision here that needs to be made where there's there's something here and we all have free will our futures are not in set in stone but spirits are telling you here to set it down. It's okay to set it down for right now before you reach the top of the mountain. Because that's where you'll succeed. And even though I, I only see you setting half of it down, um, there's going to be something here that happens when you set half of it down. That I told you it's going to give you, you know, like, um, a boost. What was the word I used? It's gonna, it's gonna make you feel really, really good. And it's going to, um, it's going to let you see that, yes, this can be done this way. I don't have to do it the other way. I can use my head instead of my back is what I'm hearing. Thank you guys for being here with me and thank you so much for taking the time to like and subscribe and take care of you guys today and um, pay attention to the advice of the tarot in this reading. It's, it's a strong message from the other side trying to tell you to put something down. Alright. I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Namaste.